Hey guys! I've literally recorded this three times <laughs> because I haven't been able to get out coherent thoughts. And I told myself I was going to stay away from rant videos, but I read an article today that made me so mad that I felt like I needed to respond to because I feel like it's something that is relevant to me and to my viewers and to people my age. So I read this review of the TV show Girls and I love that show by the way. If you haven't seen it, you're either too young to see it or you've been living under a rock because it's everywhere, like it's winning a bunch of awards and Lena Dunham is everywhere on every show, being interviewed by everyone and pretty much all the interviews are focused on the same thing and that's what makes me so mad. Basically, every time I see an interview with Lena Dunham, all the, the reporters can ask about is, oh, how do you have the self-confidence to be naked on television? Oh, you're so brave, you're such a revolutionary. Uh, why? Like, she's a normal-sized woman. Like, she's a normal-sized young woman, and she has the balls and the confidence to do whatever the fuck she wants, and why should she be treated any differently than, say, like, if Olivia Wilde is, was the lead on the show? Like, if her and Marnie switch places, people would not be having this conversation. But because Hannah, Lena Dunham, on the show, has sex with guys. With not one, but two guys this season already. Uh, people think she's some weird science experiment that needs to be gawked at and studied and, and, and because she has thighs that aren't a size 2 and she has cellulite and small breasts and she is a normal sized woman. There are way more important things to talk about. Talk about how she's a young woman in Hollywood who managed to executive produce, create, write, and star in her own award-winning television show on HBO. Like, that's pretty fucking cool. Like, why aren't people asking her about that? Like, you don't see people on other shows be asked constantly about their nudity on the show. Like, what a vapid thing to ask about. And sure, there's plenty of valid criticism of the show. It's all white girls, and they're kind of self-entitled, and they're kind of obnoxious and kind of needy. But it's realistic, to be fair. Like, it's totally realistic. It's the Sex in the City of our generation. It's the younger, dirtier, hipper version of Sex in the City. I mean, you got four girls, and they're having sex. And the review I read today of the show was so scathingly ridiculous and negative for all the wrong reasons. And not only was it disgusting and sexist and misogynist, but it was written by a woman. Like, this article on the NewYorkPost.com was written by a woman. A lady, a female person wrote such bullshit. And I will quote them for you. It's not every day in the TV world of anorexic actresses with giant boobs that a woman with giant thighs, a sloppy backside, and small breasts is compelled to show it all. It's a boon for the out of shape and perhaps a giant economic loss for high-end gyms, especially in Brooklyn. But the worst of it all, interestingly, the gorgeous Marnie is the one who is now totally unlucky in love. Sometimes it just doesn't pay to be smart, breathtakingly beautiful, kind, and nice. She's a bitch. A needy bitch, by the way. Not when there are blobbies who are willing to take their clothes off in public constantly, even when they aren't in character. What? Where does this bitch have the nerve to talk about such just irrelevant shit in this review? Criticize the writing, criticize the narrative, criticize the themes and how it's all a bunch of white girls. Like, criticize that. Those are valid criticisms. But to point out the fact that Lena Dunham does what she wants as a young sexual woman and that it's weird and disgusting because she has cellulite on her thighs? How bad of a message are you sending to most of the audience of this show? I connect with her because I am a size 10 and I have a size 38 double D bra. I have back pain and I'm a size 10 and I'm proud of it. I like the way I look, I like my body, and Lena Dunham does too. And nobody should put her down and criticize her for that because they don't want to look at her thighs. What? Like, what kind of criticism is it for a show on HBO, like, where sex happens all the time, that the fat girl 
shouldn't be having sex when the gorgeous girl isn't getting any. Clearly this woman is not living in reality because that happens. Don't keep pointing out the fact that she's normal sized in interviews. Like, don't keep saying, oh, she's so brave. Oh, you're so revolutionary. It's like, do you think she doesn't know that? Like, she's proud of it and she's confident and I love her. She's the head bitch in charge. But when they keep pointing it out and when they keep focusing on just that, like it devalues the point of the show and the message. Like, it reminded me of this interview that Anne Hathaway had when she was doing press stuff for Les Mis. And people kept saying how, oh, she lost so much weight for the part and like, that's what they were focusing on. She's like, wait, I don't want to give people my diet secrets because I was trying to look like I was dying. I hate how everything is always about weight and about her body. There was, I think it was like back in October when she went to some award show and on the red carpet, she was wearing like this tunic that was short, but she had shorts on underneath but the shorts didn't show, so it kind of looked like she wasn't wearing any pants. But there was this uproar of like, look who forgot to wear pants on the red carpet. It's like, uh, 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 what? They wouldn't have said that if like Eva Mendez walked onto the red carpet in a short little tunic. They wouldn't have said that, but because they couldn't help but focus on the fact that she's not anorexic looking, that's the only thing they could say. It's like, put some pants on, bitch. Like, no. Because Linda Dunham is a young, powerful female that has earned her stripes and is making a name for herself. She can wear whatever the hell she wants to wear. Don't shame her. Yeah, I'm using the word shame. Don't fat shame her because she's not covering up her cellulite. Like, that's not cool, Hollywood. That's not cool. It's a way to make girls feel like shit for not being a size two. That's fucked up. So have you guys seen the show? <laughs> Segway. I felt like I needed to talk about this because it was just irritating me a lot. When I read that review, I was like, that fucking bitch has the nerve. She needs to get punched in the boob. However bigger fucking boobs are, she's punching them. I love Lena Dunham. I love that show. It makes me feel normal. That took way too long to record. <laughs> Literally, I recorded it three times. If you haven't subscribed to my blog already, please subscribe below. I post fashion-y stuff all the time. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye!